Welcome to Germany for Adventskalender 23. Adventskalender 23. Today is the 25th of December, and Jim and I discovered we don't have any door to open. But we have a special GVU. Germany versus USA Adventskalender. That has the 25th day on it, and if you have one of these special calendars, you get the biggest piece of candy of all. It's so exciting. Isn't it exciting? Christmas, the 25th! We're opening presents here in the US. So, I know all my friends, everybody in Germany has probably opened them yesterday night, but in the US, 25th morning, that's when you usually open packages, right? Right, we, uh, we wait until the 25th to open our presents, and what we do is the Christmas Eve, before we go to church. The 24th? Yeah, we have um, one present. So last night, Alex and I, my little brother, we all got to open one gift, and Alex got a polar bear. I like bears. I got this awesome tie, and my brother got a new car. And yeah, if we were in Germany, um, well, what happened in my family, um, on Christmas Eve, you know, around five, we'd go to church, and actually our house would look pretty normal. We would have some Christmas decoration, but we wouldn't have a Christmas tree or anything um, until Christmas Eve, so my mom, my sister, and I would go to church, um, or, you know, go to our neighbors or something, visit them. Then an hour later, we would come back, and Santa Claus, or AKA my dad, would have, you know, decorated the whole living room with, you know, Christmas tree, all the packages, you know, and all the weird stuff that you always have. One thing about Christmas Day, is one of my favorites, is my dad is always exhausted. Especially <laughs> when we were little, you'd see my dad just like, like death. And like, as a child, I'd be like, why is dad always so <laughs> sad and tired on Christmas? It's because the night before, he helped Santa build all the presents yeah. and get everything ready for us. So my, my dad always sticks some like fake beard into this into the Christmas tree so they had all Santa forgot that. <laughs> and when I was young I'd always put like um uh, you know like glue and put it onto my lips. That was really disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all leave Santa uh milk and cookies? No. You don't? He doesn't no. He doesn't get anything. Really? It's a very common thing in the US we always leave Santa on Christmas Eve a glass of milk and a thing of cookies. Where do you put it? Right at the Chris, uh, the chimney. The chimney. Yeah, because Santa Claus, you know, lands with his eight reindeer on the roof, hops off, goes down our chimney, eats the cookies, and delivers the presents. Huh. It, well, that's a little bit that Nicholas actually. Cause you know how we like clean our shoes. He doesn't get milk and cookies, but he gets to see it like clean shoes, and he puts some candies in there. But that Nicholas, December sixth. One thing that we always enjoy at my family Christmas is a nice awesome glass of eggnog good stuff it's basically a little bit like german eierlikör but it's without alcohol that's only because we're being good usually uh eggnog has some alcohol in it but you have to really yeah you can get can it. you buy it with alcohol yeah in you there? can buy it with alcohol in there but we bought some non-alcoholic eggnog you know because we have to go sledding right. and, and skiing eggnog has, later has just the same color as eierlikör i don't know if you can tell the camera hmm it's like thick milk that tastes better. Yeah. What do you do for Christmas dinner? On the 24th or the 25th? Well, the 24th. The 24th? Christmas Eve. Uh, nothing special. We we go to church, we have a 5 o'clock mass, and then uh, we come back and my mom will, you know, make some food and then, you know, we open a present. Nothing big. The one present, right? Yeah, the one present. But on Christmas Day, we have a huge family lunch where all my family... So which we're going to have later, right? Right. And we will go over to uh, my brother-in-law's house this year. Mm -hmm. And um, we have just an awesome, awesome lunch. It's basically like a second Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Just with all the Thanksgiving food. Just the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> all the, you know, the leftovers. No, it's all freshly cooked. And, oh, it's, I can't wait. That's part of my favorite thing about today. That's cool. Yeah, we, I mean, since you know, we have... A, Gift opening is on the 25th, uh, on the 24th, we have, you know, big, big dinner on the 24th. We usually eat um, escargot at my house. Snails? Snails? Schnecken, yeah. Like, is that a common Christmas no, thing? No, I don't think, I think because we are like, we like my, kind of like a French connection, our family, so we eat snails. And yeah, please don't be disgusted, they are really good. They're snails really are really good, that's strange. That... In Paris, they're good. They're good. And one thing I forget, and we have two Christmas like days. We have the so the twenty fifth and the twenty sixth are both like Christmas celebration days. Is it the same here? Like official days, so everybody gets off. 
No, only Christmas Day, only the 25th, so only today. So a lot of my friends had to work on Christmas Eve. And sometimes people have to work on Christmas. But but the 26th is a normal work day? Yeah. Yeah, in Germany, that's um, you have the 24th, 24th, you know, people work usually until afternoon, noon or something. Like it off. And then the 25th, of course, also, and the 26th is off as well. So That's on, nice. Like on 25th, we would visit my dad's parents, and the, the 26th, we would visit my mom's parents. So we're going to unwrap our presents now. We're really excited. There are a whole bunch under the tree, too. Maggie. I hope um, this one's underwear. Oh, or a tie. Mm. <laughs> we wish you all a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Frohe Weihnachten auch nach Deutschland. And we'll see you on New Year's. Okay. Fröhliche Feiertage. Merry Christmas.